Hawaii produces some truly great citrus. Juicy tangelos, Kona oranges, lemons, grapefruits, and others. Because of the fruit fly, we can't export citrus to the mainland, but we could reduce the amount of imported citrus if we did a better job marketing what we grow. Bev White, co-owner of Kahula Farms near Kealakekua Bay, grows tangerines, tangelos, and red and white grapefruit. At the beginning of the season, which usually starts around November, early November, we check the fruit daily to see what its color looks like. And we go primarily on color. When the color gets good, we then check the consistency of the fruit. We check to see if it feels hard or if it's getting a little bit of give to the skin. Uh, color is, uh, can be deceptive at the beginning of the harvest. Uh, often you'll see part of the fruit is a good color, but the top will still be green. And so we're always looking to see is the fruit uh, getting a little bit of give to the rind. And when it gets to that point, then we actually cut it open and taste it. Um, our ripe white grapefruit tends to ripen first of all the citrus we have here in the orchard. and. Uh, the only trick to this is to make sure at the beginning of the season that the fruit doesn't have green on it because it won't be nearly as sweet, especially with the white grapefruit, which tends to uh, be more tart than the red. Uh, you want to make sure it's got good color on it. During the mid and late season, however, uh, fruit color isn't quite as important as indicator as the softness because the fruit is, has been sitting on the tree for quite a while. And uh, we just check, we cut it open and check it to make sure usually they're a lot sweeter in the mid to late season. And we go more on whether how squishy it feels and how it tastes. Industry standards usually allow for up to a fifth of the fruit to have green on it. But we like to pick it with a lot less green. Uh, at the beginning of the season, a lot of them are going to have slightly green on the top. And, and our customers really don't want to see that much green on the fruit. Uh, too much green and the fruit isn't going to be as sweet or as flavorful as it could be. Um, it will have a very long shelf life. But once the fruit's picked, it's not really going to sweeten up uh, after it's taken off the tree, it ripens on the tree. With grapefruit, the bitterness can subside over time, which makes the fruit taste sweeter, but it doesn't really develop any more sugars after it's picked. Our pole picker is a lightweight aluminum picker. It grabs the fruit and then holds the stem, it grasps the stem so the fruit doesn't just get cut and fall. It actually can be grasped. We can bring it down without having the fruit fall on the ground, which is really good. And uh, that allows us to pick so that the fruit is not damaged. We like to cut the fruit and keep the stem on because it uh, just prolongs the life of the fruit. Fruit, once it's picked, will lose moisture. And a lot of that moisture gets lost through the stem end. Uh, it, some of it is lost through the skin, so over time as it sits, what's happening is the fruit is actually drying out. And uh, that's what causes the fruit to start to deteriorate. If a fruit falls on the ground when we're cutting, uh, I will tend not to put that fruit in the bin, basically because one, it's being exposed to mold. There might be moldy fruit on the ground that it comes in contact with, or with the rocky ground, it might hit and break the skin open. And that juice, if it comes in contact with the other fruit, can cause mold to grow on the outside of the other fruit. And that just reduces their shelf life immediately. Uh, we take the ATV down to the mill where we have our scale. And that's where I do the final inspection of the fruit. This one is a little bit squishy right there. 
a little too soft for might not have a good shelf life. Uh, I suspect it's been stung by uh, fruit flies, but the fruit overall is very ripe. This one just looks, it just doesn't have a good appearance and it is also very hard and this rind feels very thick here and quite frequently when I cut these open they have a very coarse grainy texture, they're not very good. This one, a little too green. Uh, this might be something that gets picked in your regular fruit market because it gets shipped and it, it'll develop color as it's being transported. This one, the stem came off, so it's not gonna have a very good shelf life. And again, this, this really dark section here is probably due to a fruit fly sting and it, it is also hard. This fruit, I discovered, has a rotten spot right there. It's, it's pale and discolored and it's very, very squishy, so I'm definitely not going to even juice that. It's just gonna be tossed out, put in the compost pile. Uh, we have one customer on Oahu that sells at both a store and a farmer's market, and he's looking for fruit with high bricks content. He wants the ripest but firmest fruit he can get. So for him, we wait until January when the fruit really develops the sweet flavor. And that um, picking for him takes some extra care and time. We don't put anything in a chill. Uh, we usually pick the afternoon before we ship out in the morning or we pick in the morning if we're taking it to a customer in the afternoon. And so it's very fresh and we just like to pick it and get it out as soon as possible.